Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a perfect arc using Inkscape. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website for more Inkscape tutorials and help articles. All right, so let's get into it. It does help to have a horizontal center guide here on your composition. You can just click and drag from the rulers with the select tool which is over here in the toolbox. And once you drag a ruler on your composition, you can double click on it and just set the Y value to whatever is half the height of your document. In this case, it's a 1080 document, so I'll type 540 and click OK to apply that guide. So I'll come over here and grab the ellipse slash arc tool. So the name of that tool is kind of a dead giveaway. And now what I'll do is click and drag my mouse. And if I hold the control key, it'll constrain this to a perfect circle as long as I don't drag too far out and release my mouse. And I do want to align this real quick. So I'll just click the align icon up here. And then relative to page, I'm just going to center this on the vertical axis as well as the horizontal axis. So now you're going to see this little circle here. What you need to do is just click and drag that circle. And then if you hold the control key, it's going to constrain this. So you'll see it's going to snap it every couple degrees. And we're just going to drag it until it snaps to that center guide and release the mouse. So once you've clicked and dragged the circle and created this semicircle, you're now going to have these icons up top here active. So you do want to make sure that you have this set to switch to arc. Usually by default, it's set to switch to slice. So just change that to switch to arc. Now we need to change this. So right now it's just set to a fill. If I come down here and I just left click on the X, it's going to get rid of the fill. And I'll also shift click on the pinned color here to set my stroke to black. You can also set your stroke, of course, to any of the colors here. So now we have a nice arc, but it is upside down. So what we can do is grab the select tool. And now we have some options over here for rotating or flipping the arc, depending on what you want to do. I'll just set this to object flip vertical. And once again, in the align and distribute dialog, I'm just going to align this on the horizontal axis. So now it's nice and centered. And there we have a nice, beautiful arc. You can further customize this if you want just by double clicking on the stroke color. That brings up the fill and stroke dialog. So now you've got various options here for your stroke. You can change the color. And if I go to stroke style, I can change the width of this. I can even change if this is dotted or uses dashes. I can set markers here. So for example, I can set an arrow at the end. And I can change the cap style. So if I don't want this just ending abruptly, I can round off the edges there. Or I can square them off and just have them dip slightly below the end of the arc there. And I'll just keep that set to the default. And finally, one last thing under stroke paint, I can set this to a pattern if I want, which is a really cool feature in Inkscape. So let me just set this back to a fill. Last thing I'll say for this tutorial, if you have the ellipse and arc tool and you go to draw this again, you'll see it's going to draw based on whatever your last settings were. So it will draw an arc. All you have to do to reset that is come over here and click the make the shape whole icon and then left click to fill that in with the color. Shift click to get rid of the stroke, and now you're back to a circle. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.